Hey everybody, I'm going to address a couple of problems that people seem to be having with Xair Edit and iOS 26. And that is either it's crashing on you right away or it's just not connecting to your network. So we're gonna address both those things. We're gonna do it right now. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is actually get Xair Edit installed on this iPad. This is my entertainment one, so there's no audio stuff on here at all. I'm gonna open up the App Store. There's Xair Edit. You can see it looks like it's already been downloaded, but it has not been on this iPad. That's just because it's synced to the same account as all my other devices. So let's get that, oops, installed. And now it's there, let's open it and let's see what happens right away. It crashes. Great, that's probably what most of you are seeing. From what I understand and what we're going to do to fix it, this seems to be a network handshake problem. So it's reaching out to the network. You have to enable local permissions. So let's go into settings and we're gonna go down to privacy and security. And then we're gonna go down to local network. And you see, this is the only thing we have here. So we have to get this added into our local network to be able to do this. So the way I'm currently set up is that I'm using my iPad connected to my home network and my mixer is also connected to my home network, but we're going to connect to the mixer directly. So I flip the switch on the front over to access point and I'm going to go change what Wi-Fi I'm connected to. So let's wait for, there's my Xair. So we're gonna to connect to that. Eventually, it's thinking about it. It's taking a really long time, which I don't like. There, connected. I just had to force it to resolve itself. So let's now go open the Xair Edit app again. Crashed again. Let's try it one more time. Crashed again. Now let's go have a look at our privacy and security. And let's go to our local network. And we still don't have it. So this is a problem we need to resolve. So I just tried a few more times. I just kept opening and closing the app until I saw what I was actually hoping to see, which is this pop up right here. So we are forcing the system to ask for its ability to connect to local networks. So we're gonna hit allow. And you can see I've actually got the uh, mixer there available. I can log into it, I can make changes, that's great. Um, let's go back and look at our network settings and you can see that Xair has now been added to local network. So we can turn that on and we can turn it off. Let's watch what happens when I turn it off. So let's go back to the Xair program. I'm going to close it and I'm going to launch it again. Now, it's holding its state. I tried this on another iPad and I got the same result. So what I had to do is I just had to keep forcing it to close, leave it for a few seconds, and I just keep launching it until it would crash. Now I had some mixed results with this when I was connected directly to the mixer. You'll see what happens when I connect through my home network. So let's actually do that. Let's just kill the Xair app and I'm going to switch everything over to my home network. So let's start with uh, the network on the iPad, go back to Wi-Fi, wait for my home network to show up. There it is. And there it's connected. So now I'm going to flip the switch on the front of my mixer from access point back over to ethernet. Okay, I'm just gonna use my computer here to make sure that it's actually showing up because I do have this problem as well. Some of you might have this problem where sometimes on your network, it's just not showing up or connecting in the desktop software or even in the iPad software. And what I find is I sometimes have to go back and flip the switch off of ethernet and back onto ethernet just to force the mixer to do another handshake with my network. Now it's actually showing up so I can connect to it on the desktop, which is great. So let's try it now on the iPad. Let's double check we're on the right network. And we are, 
So let's go launch that Xair. Crash. So remember, in privacy and security and in local network, I turned the Xair off. Let's try and launch it again. Close it. Let's launch. Crash. Let's go back into settings. Turn this back on. And now let's try to launch that app again. There it is connects or shows up, sorry, right away in the list and I can connect to it, no problem. I'm controlling things here. If, uh, if you look, you can see it happening on my desktop software as well. So that's how you get around this issue. The unfortunate part is that when you first try to connect it to the mixer's network, you might get it crashing on you multiple times. And your mileage may vary with this. It might work for you right away or it might take you like six, seven times like it did for me. It's a shame I wasn't showing you how many times I had to do it, but I just kept forcing it. I would just close the app and open it again until I got that local network access pop-up. Once you've done that, you should be good to connect, um, whether you're connected directly to the mixers network or you're using your home network or your audio network, whatever the case may be. So that was the results here on What am I using? I'm using 26.0.1. I'm actually gonna update this iPad to the next uh, version of the software available, which is 26.1. So I'm gonna do that right now. I won't make you watch, but we'll come back to it as soon as it's updated. And we'll do this again and see what happens. So stand by. Okay, took ages, but it's done. I'm on uh, iOS 26.1. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to delete the app. Oh, options, remove app, delete, delete. I wanna see what happens if we take this right from the initial setup. First things first, let's jump in here and make sure that it disappeared from our local network. It may not have, um, and I may not be able to remove it from there, but it did, great. So let's see what happens now. Let's go back into the App Store. X Air, oops, X Air. Download. I wanted to say, um, I know for a while this was missing from the App Store. Um, I believe it's back officially. Um, you'll have to let me know what you find, but I also used my other iPad to log out of the App Store, and when I did a search for XR Edit, it was there and I could download it. So hopefully that's the same result you have when you go looking. Great, let's open it and see what happens. Not sure what that means. That's new. Are we still in the app? I think my iPad just crashed. Well, that's not great. Okay, let's open the XR app again. Crash. Try one more time. Crash. Let's have a look at our local network. It's not there, so I'm going to switch back to the access point on the mixer. Okay, we'll give that a minute or two to find itself. Uh, we need to go and change our Wi-Fi to the mixer's Wi-Fi. It's taking ages again. Let's just go into it, see if that helps. Nope, it's just taking a while, which I don't really understand. This is new. I've never had this type of delay. Let me know if this is something you're seeing too. There it goes. That was very silly. Now let's open the XR app, crash. Open it again, crash. Open it again, crash. I'm just gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep spamming it to see if we can get that local network allowance window to pop up. Let's see if we can. I'm just gonna close the app store. Shouldn't have anything to do with anything, but you never know. There we go. Oh, I thought we were gonna get it that time. Come on, work with me. Give me the pop-up. Give me the pop-up. This is rough. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Great. So that was super, super dumb, but that's what I had to do. So I'm gonna click allow and I should be able to go into the mixer and I should be able to move stuff. You won't see it moving on the desktop software. I'll just show you that right now because it's not on the same network. So let's close the app. Let's go look at our privacy and security and our local network. And there is the X Air. Let's turn that off. Try to launch the app. Still holding it fine. So again, your mileage might vary with this. I had some, some different results. Let me know what you see. Um, I feel like it just holds a state, but after a while, I, I would suspect if I re uh, or if I powered off, if I power cycled my iPad, I might lose this and I, I'll try that afterwards. But right now it's still seeing it, even though we told it local network, no dice. So let's change our network back to my home network. And I'm gonna switch it back to ethernet on the mixer. Use the desktop software to make sure it comes up. There it goes, it's connected on the desktop. Okay, let's try to launch the app, crash. Let's go back to our privacy and security and back to local network. Let's turn this on and launch the app again app stays active and there we go we can connect you can see it being controlled on the desktop as well even though i'm using the ipad um, i'm sure somebody out there has a much better software background it can explain exactly what's going on but best guess that network um, lockdown is just causing errors that are crashing it so uh, what was i going to do what was i going to do what did i say i was going to do Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna power cycle. So let's let's quickly jump back to the network on the box. And we'll connect to that network as soon as it comes up. There it is. Went quickly that time, thank goodness. Um, let's turn off the local network allowance turn that off and see what happens if we try to launch xair it's already open so let's close it launch it again crash okay so didn't even have to power cycle i literally just had to change networks and come back to it it is strange that it was holding it but let's um let's turn that allowance back on try to launch it again there we see it connects, no problem. So let's turn that back off. Oops, turn that back off. Try to launch it again. I'm actually gonna close it, launch it. Still holding it. So I'm gonna power cycle now and we'll see what happens. Stand by, it's booting. This is a perfect moment to say, hey, if you find anything we do here useful, entertaining, educational, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. All of those things help in a huge way. Well, there we go, we're back. Okay, so we have privacy and security. We have local network turned off. And before we power cycled, it was still allowing us to go into the XR app without crashing and it is still doing it now. So this is really weird the way it's functioning. Um, obviously you're not gonna turn that local network access off, but if you did, these are the results you might see. I'd be interested in knowing how this works for everybody else. But right now let's turn this back on just to have it on, see if that makes any difference. Doesn't look like it would and reconnect again. And there it is. Oh, what network are we on? Good, it held my, my network, that makes sense. All right, so there you go. Let's talk about what your options are if this just doesn't work for you. Really, they're kind of limited. Um, MX Mix, which I've got some videos about and another one coming out in a day or two about the latest update. MX Mix is what 
Behringer is replacing this Xair Edit app with. They are not going to update the Xair Edit app anymore. They're not going to support it. They're not going to fix problems with it. As soon as MX Mix is fully um, built and released, Xair Edit will still exist. That's my understanding, but it will be for legacy devices that just can't run MX Mix, the new one. Um, the problem with MX Mix is it's still in public and private beta which means you can download it and you can use it, but not all of the functionality is there. You can get away with some minor mixing and some minor changes, but not everything you need for it to function as a legitimate control for your mixer is there in the software for you to use, not yet. That leaves you with one real option, and that option is Mixing Station. Mixing Station is excellent, it's a really well put together program and it doesn't just cover this mixer, it covers other Behringer mixers like the Wing and the X32. It lets you use Allen and Heath mixers and Yamaha mixers. So it's really great and it's fully customizable, but it comes with a bit of a learning curve. If you're already really comfortable with this type of mixer setup and this type of control, I'm sure you'll have no problem with mixing station, just learning where things are. But if you're really new to this, there is a learning curve involved and I would urge you to watch some videos on Mixing Station. I have a few minor videos here, there's more to come, but until I have the content for you, there are lots of people out there on YouTube with a lot of really good content about Mixing Station. If I can, I'll link to some of those down below, and depending on when you're seeing this video, if I have anything extra that I've released, obviously I'll link to those as well. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I hope this was useful to you in some way. See you next time here on Quickies. Bye everybody.